So in this episode, let's talk about the browser sync with the real practical example for the Laravel mix. With that, I'm your host Sarthak and welcome back to Bitfumes. And don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Here we are with the new browser sync for the Laravel mix and let's do one thing. Let's first start the server. So I will do one thing. I will say php artisan serve and as always our server is here. Now let's see what is the browser sync. Whenever I go to webpack.mix.js I have to do one thing. I will say mix dot browser sync with a capital S and here I will give my local host URL which is localhost 8000 and close this line and now what I will do now again one more terminal and here I will say npm run watch and and I think you know what is watch in the last episode we have seen what is watch it will watch everything you will make change in your JS or CSS files so let's just run this command and let's see what happened with this command it's doing something and with this it will going to create another local host so you can see it is local host 3000 and it is local host 8000 so this is our PHP artisan serve local host and this is webpack or the Laravel mix local host so whenever we change something the change will reflect automatically here okay so we can even close this because we have started and this is very important we you have to have a start PHP artisan serve after that you have to start otherwise it will not going to show anything on your localhost 3000 so let's go to the project and here we have this form and let's see what the form is so here is the form and you can see this connected to sync and refresh this connected to browser sync it's because it is now refreshing every time when we change something so let's go to resources folder sas folder inside assets folder and here is app.scss here I will define one simple thing called form and form I will give border of 2 pixel and solid red okay so it will be small red and then border radius is going to have 20 pixel okay so I have saved this file and yes you can see the Laravel mix watch command is watching me whenever I save this it will compile everything and we have everything on our public CSS app.css file so I can find my form so I will search for border colon 2 pixel yeah you can see we have this in our app.css we have created the form styling on scss file but it is reflected here on app.css because of the webpack mix but so when i go to my browser and we can see we don't have any border here because we have not linked this app.css in our form that means the blade file so let's sync this and here we know we have to say asset and here css slash app dot css file save this and go back you can see we don't have to refresh it is automatically refreshed so when i go to sas file and instead of red i will say let's say blue save this file go back and you can see it is refreshed automatically so this is the browser sync and next thing is you can see we have attached one app.css file so let's add one script file that means the js file so a script and <coughs> a script is this so asset we know that it is inside js slash app.js so save this and we have this file but 
let's do one thing so close this public folder close this app css open resources folder assets and js and create one more file called uh, my.js okay so here what i will do so i will say alert simply so i will say hello so you know we don't have any connection on my blade file to this my.js but we can compile this my.js into the app.js via webpacks mix so let's open webpacks mix.js and you can see here we are giving the name of the file which is going to compile to public slash app folder so instead of giving one we can give the array of the file so so here we can simply say one more file which is after comma paste and it is inside js and my.js so now let's go to my.js and try to make some changes and save this file we are saving but nothing is happening because now npm run watch command is not aware of this changes on the webpack mix.js so we have to rerun that npm run watch command and after this whenever we change something in our my.js it will make the changes as long so it has started the server again so let's go to form and close these thing and whenever i go here make changes hit save and yes compile this into our app.css file which is inside app.js file which is inside public folder so here we can search for alert hello and which is here so you can see in this way we can have more than one file in our original asset folder but when we are going to compile it we will have only one file called app.css and app.js files we are minimizing the http request for every page load and with that we can use the npm run production for the minimization of the file and if you have any doubt don't forget to message me and don't forget to subscribe bitfumes on youtube and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye